Okay, so here we are at Hookhead Lighthouse in Ireland. The oldest lighthouse in the world. Um, dates back to 1172, I think it is. It was the original fire that was set here. And the lighthouse that is now, as it is in the same and the real world, is over 800 years old. So what we're going to try and do is try and match this up. It looks pretty good already. If I show you what the real world one looks like. Picture of it. Get it up here. So that's the real world one. Let's point it down. And this is the one in the same. As you can see they've got a pretty well down pat. What we're going to do today is we're going to try and improve it with the NVIDIA filters. To see if we can get it. You can see it's a bit washed out in the rocks and stuff. See if we can get it closer to the real world one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, go to the NVIDIA filters. To go to the NVIDIA filters... You just switch back to the same. Get to the NVIDIA filters, you press the left alt and F3. Should pop up with NVIDIA filters here for you. So this is where you can adjust all the different colors and different things to get the same looking even better and less washed out. So, with none. Let's go to filter one. First thing we're going to do is change the brightness and contrast. So you click on the little down button, brightness and contrast. Then you can to add it in as a filter. Then you can click on the little down arrow to give you the exposures, and contrast, and everything like that. I'm going to try and bring it down to look like the real world one. Less washed out. So if we compare none with contrast and brightness, you'll see there's a bit of a difference already. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring the exposure down to about minus, say, minus six, minus seven. Contrast, we'll leave it at 15. Highlights, I'm going to bring it to up minus 12. Shadows, we'll up them to about mid 50s. 50, 55, 56, 54, around that. So, straight away, just with those couple of tweaks on the brightness contrast, go back. You can see how they darken this and just take that washed out look away from it. So brings it into looking more real. Now we've tweaked the brightness contrast a bit. Push that little arrow to close up. We'll pick color. Okay. So with the color, click on the little down arrow. What you can do is, you can bring the tent color down to zero. Okay, you'll see how it, the extremes, but if you bring it down to zero, tent and tent to see, down to zero as well. And then the temperature, bring it up around 10, sorry, bring it down to about minus 12. Minus 12, minus 11. The vibrance, you can bring it up to about 14, 15. So now that's the color. So again, if we click back, no filters, and sort the color and the brightness and contrast. So that's those two done. Next one we need to do is is the detail. So, if we click on detail, 
Once again, click on the little down arrow. So what we're going to do is adjust the sharpness and these four little adjustments in here. So as you can see, if you bring it up, it becomes really sharp, the rocks and everything. If you bring it down, it gets darker and less sharp. So leave that about halfway, about say 50 to 53. Clarity. Again, if you maximize that, you'll see it goes all sort of and minimizes. You'll see how it changes the clarity. Leave that around 20, I think. Somewhere around, yeah, around the 20s. HDR tone, tone in. Again, sort of washes it out bring it right down to minus 100 you can see how all gets really dark and everything the HD will leave it about say 5, 6 and the bloom finally if you whack that up to 100% you see how it gets all bloom all how you're losing the clarity and everything Mark it down to zero. So we'll leave that around, say, about eight percent, about seven, eight percent. Now that's the details all done. So we've done the details, the color, and the brightness. Uh, again, if we jump back to none, we we'll jump back to the filters. You can see the difference. There is massive difference on it. It uh, really makes the sim look really good, I think. Filters do. You can mess about with other ones. It's all different ones in there. You can add in black and white into it. We'll delete that off. There is a lot of special effects. You can see the special effects there. Retro. So it gives you a really old fashioned look on it. If you wanted to take a nice screenshot, that would be something like retro of that. So you mess about on a half tone because it goes a bit like um, Andy Warhol's pictures or something. Same with this. So it's sort of black and white. But again, we'll delete that one and there's lots more in there that you can mess around with so one other filter that i seen actually all of these settings i got them off two tone murphy's stream so he done a great how to do all the filters one other one i seen on his stream as well that he done was the old film one it's really cool, especially for somewhere like here. When you put that filter in and that really makes it look like old years gone by in Hookhead Lighthouse. You can see with the filters how you can really dial them in to exactly what you're trying to do what you're trying to um, achieve in the same so again we will remove that one so you just simply click on it click on remove and to turn off all the filters you can just click on none you have three options in here to do three different filters for yourself so we pick our first filter that we've done with the details, color, and brightness. Now all you need to do is close the filter so it's set in the same. Now if you're flying along and you decide, ah oh, crap, I don't want that filter anymore, that look just the left alt and F3, bring it back up. Left alt, F3, and hide it again. So that will let you. Uh -huh. 
Left alt and F3 will allow you to bring up all your filters. So you can see you can get it really dialed in to pretty much close to what we say a picture maybe. If I can get the picture back here. Find the picture. So that's again the real world one. So if we were to bring up the time of day, say we want to have the real weather, we'll bring it up to time of day here maybe. Take it that it was taken not sure what time. It's more like that time of day. Bring the picture up and you can really mess around with the filters. Alt F3. Try and get it to look pretty much like the picture. That's none. That's the other one. You could come in to contrast again. Gamma sort of brings it down like that. You could give it some sort of gamma. You could add in Nettin, whatever it's called, I don't pronounce it wrong. Density. See how it brings in the little sort of camera on the outside. Oh, we don't want that. You can now with this one I think I don't actually have the HDR turned on. It could be okay, so that's no can't do anything with that one. As you can see you can mess about with all of these. You can have it look like a watercolor if you want. <laughs> Color blend, I'm not sure. It sort of darkens it a bit, I think, makes the rocks look a bit more realistic. Fifty percent on that. Let's see what this does. Ooh, okay, that doesn't do uh, zero on that. That sort of warms it up a little bit. Oh, don't like that color blend. Let me just. Adjust this and see if I can get it looking something like the picture. So I think you can see just from doing the tent with the Alt and F3. Okay. All the colors that we've adjusted. Those colors are adjusted there. Instead of brightness, those are the ones I've done. Okay, let me close that up. Colors are adjusted to that. And the detail, I've done on that. You can see the difference is bringing to the same. 
and then to really kick it off you just up the weather to a crazy ass wind like so what I've done is just taken the wind to the extreme so there you go down to a calm ocean 50 knots 40 we up it to ridiculous 150 even 120 120 knots winds and we bring in the picture what it looks like in reality just grab the picture I think you'll agree that the picture the actual scene is pretty much like the picture okay we put the picture that's the real world hook head lighthouse here and this is what we've done with the same as you can see so the filters and the weather really give you can really help with the same so you can imagine that must be what it's like on the Atlantic not the Atlantic the ocean coming in a really stormy day Anyways, that's just a how-to on filters in the sim. Again, left alt, F3 for NVIDIA filters. You may have to turn them on and restart the sim, but once you can see how it really gives that realistic look to the sim. Again, hopefully that's helped a few people out there. I will give um, credit to Tuto Murphy for letting me in on this. He done a whole how to on filters, so I've pretty much copied his settings, added in a few more of my own. But if you want any help or any any issues or anything just leave a note in the comments below and i'll get back to you so hopefully this helped a few out there and how to make the sim 2024 even more realistic looking the filters and we'll leave it with that i'll talk to you later